think I'm ready. Well, I got an exciting delivery the other day. I got a bunch of these uh, access ports right here. They open up like that and a uh, hole with a seal and, you know, they even close back up again. So these are what I've been cutting around holes in the cockpit sole and the seat tops for. Here is the front part of the cockpit sole here and you can see this hole. It's gonna have one of these in it. Unfortunately, as you can see, <laughs> The holes are very slightly too small. So I didn't want to just have at the holes with some sandpaper and just try and get it to fit haphazardly. That would have taken ages and would have been a pain in the butt and not, you know, very precise. So I came up with another idea. I saw this on another boat builder channel, SV Tapacha. He was cutting out uh, round holes for his uh, portholes and uh, he made a little jig for his router so that uh, it could be rotated around a central point, cutting a perfect hole. So I thought I could do something like that. Unfortunately, I didn't see that until after I'd already cut the holes uh, the first time, but maybe I can trim them out to size properly like this. I drilled a little hole in the edge of my router here and uh, I've got a bit of wire and it's twisted around this screw since I've already cut the holes out, I got this uh, piece of scrap wood clamped uh, underneath and aligned. So this length, I've just sort of twisted it around, should stay. And it's just very slightly touching in to the edge here. Wow, that actually went really well. Like, way better than I thought it was gonna work, which is suspicious. We got our first inspection port, fitting it nicely in the hole. That's what it looks like. done all the painting that I want to do inside the boat for now under the cockpit sole I left the cleats unpainted so that the epoxy would uh, stick directly to the epoxy and not the paint and I added uh, two extra cleats here just to make sure that I can screw it down in the middle I got paranoid that it would not be held down properly I've got the bottoms of the cockpit sole painted as well left some space for the glue to go I have pre-drilled all the holes. I got my bag of stainless steel screws here. I got some of these uh, glue spreaders. I'm going to use the West System 403 adhesive filler instead of the 411 filleting filler because some glue ones. Everything's fine. I think I'm ready.
Well, for better or worse, the cockpit sole is in now. All glued in, all screwed in. And never more shall it be removed. I don't think it could be removed. So I used this uh, adhesive spreader here and uh, it worked really great. So the thickened epoxy, when I uh, scraped it with this, it formed into uh, little ridges with gaps in between. So when I put the uh, cockpit sole down on top of that, presumably the ridges spread out and made an even finish underneath. That's the idea at least, I think. I had a little look uh, in the ballast tank, took some photos inside there and had a look and it looks like that uh, there's adhesive squeezing out um, around the edges, which is what I wanted so there wouldn't be any gaps. Whew. That was tense. And now it's done.